This is a podcast from the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Dr Diane Newbury talks about the contribution of genetics to specific language impairment. Hello Diane. What is specific language impairment? So specific language impairment is is a term which is used to describe children who have problems learning to use or understand language for no obvious reason. So lots of children have problems with language development but for a lot of those it's either just a delay which they catch up as they grow a bit older um, or they have some other kind of developmental problems which are causing the language impairment. The children who we investigate with specific language impairment they have um, persistent and quite severe language problems and no apparent problems in any, any other kind of developmental domains. And what is the contribution of genetics? So um, we know that uh, specific language impairment runs in families uh, and so if you have a brother or a sister who's affected by SLI you're about eight or nine times as likely to have a language problem yourself and the same if your parents are affected you're more likely to have language problems. And then uh, we also find that twins, in pairs of twins, if one's affected, the other is more likely to be affected. And that gives us a strong indication that there is some genetic contribution. Um, But we don't think it's caused by a single gene mutation. We think it's combinations of common genetic variants which make some individuals uh, more susceptible to language problems than, than other individuals. And what are the most important lines of research that were developed over the past five or ten years? So we've been investigating SLI for ten years now and before we started there wasn't any molecular genetic studies done so we knew that SLI ran in families but we didn't have any idea what the genetic contributions were. So when we started off we looked at every single chromosome in a group of affected families and individuals and we narrowed it down to two regions which we believe um, contain genetic variants which contribute to SLI. And at the moment we're looking into what those genetic variants do and how they might contribute to SLI. So over the last 10 years there's been quite a big kind of leap in, in the research that's been done. And why does your line of research matter? and Why should we put money into it? Uh, it's a very common disorder and we don't really understand even um, at the level of what what is the problem that these children have? Why do they have specific language problems? Um, So we're hoping that if we come at it from the genetic point of view, it will give us an insight into the biological pathways that are causing these problems and the the kind of um, developmental processes that might be underlying the disorder. And we hope that this will then have a knock-on effect, that we'll be able to Um, intervene with these children earlier to develop better strategies to help them cope with their language problems. And how does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? So at the moment our research is is kind of um, more at the molecular level but we're hoping once we understand these pathways that it will then lead on to translational research so um, once we understand the problems that these children have we can then combine with more kind of psychological speech therapy, that kind of research, um, to develop better therapies for these children. So it's not in terms of kind of diagnosing and predicting which children are going to be affected, it's more developing better therapies for them. Thank you, Diane. Okay, thank you.